Hello and welcome to another amazing episode of Winning Women. My name is Nimas Aleshi Loy and this is the program that tells what amazing it is to be a woman. On the program we interview women that have created a niche for themselves in their fellow profession. And yes, my guest for today is a woman that I've shown how strong it is to be a woman. Trust me, you really know how it is to be strong to be a woman, to be a woman. But don't let me bore you with my talks and let's get straight to the interview right after this break. Don't go anywhere. My passion for singing. I, I would say that um, singing came from God. It's, it's something that I've been doing since my primary school days and um, I started writing songs and just penning down songs when I was in primary school. But songs for me changed when I became born again in my teens and um, at that time I was in the Anglican church so I started then reading the hymn books which are the books that they use for singing there and I love hymns because they've got a lot of li lyrics you know they've got rhymes the stories are interesting you know whatever it is that happened to the people that made them pen down things and one thing I love about hymns that you know made me um, that captivated me is the fact that they wrote about virtually everything so all, all kinds of things were expressed in in that kind of music so that got me really into music and then I used to play around with making up tunes for those hymns and then gradually I started writing my own songs and yeah and singing <laughs> looked down upon hmm have I been looked down upon? I don't know if you have six brothers, you know, you, you, you kind of have to, <laughs> they don't look down on you, but it's, you know, it's like survive, you have to like survive, you know, so um, I, I guess for me growing up with boys meant that I'm kind of tougher than most um, women would be. <laughs> so maybe in a sense it worked for my, my advantage, if, yeah. So, no, not really looked down upon, yes. Ooh, um, an event or a person that has influenced me, biggest influence, okay. Um, for me, if I say my biggest influence, um, I would say for me, it's the Holy Spirit. I know, yes, that may not be the regular kind of answer that people would give. But for me, I say that because um, from the time I gave my life to Christ, um, most of the decisions and things that have happened up until now have been influenced by the Holy Spirit. I was 19 when he told me that one day you're going to leave the country with your husband and your son and go to a land I will show you. That came to pass. Eight years later <laughs> I relocated to the UK with my husband and my and my son and even coming back to Nigeria I remember the day I was told okay now your time in Scotland is up it's um, time for you to go to another country and I'll tell you what you're going to do over there you know so for me it's like I do get minute by minute well not minute by minute but <laughs> I do get instructions and so for me that's really a big influence when somebody can tell you about your future and it's not just tell you but it then comes to pass so that's been something that's um really influential in my if i i, I have a new song out called abraham's friend so for me I, I i tend to say abraham's friend from the past is now my friend in the present so yeah that's how i roll <laughs> my first song ever let me think ever 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 um i would say for me i've got two eps out um the first one i recorded back in the uk and well, the first song that went into that is a call a song called all the way yeah it's again i played around with a hymn that everybody knows all the way to Calvary and I just added a bit of funky spin to it I like music funky fight you know and yeah the reception for that was really good interestingly I recorded it um, while I was on maternity leave <laughs> yes I just 
hold the baby, carry the baby in, you know, a car seat and we're like off to the studio, you know, and then sing a little record, breastfeed, record, you know, and, and stuff. So yes, but when I had to perform it in, in public, yes, it was it was well received. Nobody knew that, you know, she she had that talent in her, yeah. <laughs> so it was well received, thank you. How did I carve a niche for myself? Um, I think for me, the way I play around with hymns is something really different. I, f I find, especially um, now that I'm going out and ministering more in music, um, because the thing about it is I do it in my own way. So there's no me, there's no other me there. So if I come and I say something like rock of ages, clap for me, which everybody knows. And I go rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in the, it's different. So I'm not going to go somewhere and somebody sounds like that because that's unique to me. So that's already in a sense, just puts me in not a world of my own, but you know, a niche. <laughs> How do I deal with competition? I don't know if I really see competition as a person. You know, um, even when I think about fashion, I, I don't sit and think, oh, yes, there's competition. I feel it's a big world. There are about six billion or seven billion people in the world, you know, and everyone has got individual fingerprints. So everyone is different. I think the problem is because we are busy comparing ourselves with other people so that's why it takes away our originality once we shut out our minds on what we call competition then you'd be able to produce something that people have never seen so for me how i deal with competition is just by going inside of myself and checking what i have and putting it out there Can I imagine a world without men? Let me see, the lady with six brothers, a husband, two sons, I'm still thinking. No, I can't imagine a world without men. <laughs> I am surrounded by men. Where are the women in my life? Come. No, <laughs> I, I actually really can't. Um, I'm just, I'm a men and women support. I just feel the world is balanced. I went to, I, I did co-education which for me, that's what I believe in. The world is full of men and women, so I don't think you should delete any anyone. I don't think you should delete men. Neither do I think you should delete women. So there's, there's room for all. God created them male and female. Women that want to win in their profession, I, for me, I would say, you know, once you start something, you have to have a vision. You have to have somewhere that's you are going and just like i said about how i personally deal with competition you have to know what you yourself are all about because if you don't know what you're about then you will be drowned by people because a lot it's i mean it's it's such a busy world there's social media so people are churning out things all the time so if if you then don't look into yourself and bring something from yourself then you will be drowned by what what is out there so i would say if you want to win and not just win but win big know thyself know thyself and know what you come um to know what you come to the table with you know and then be confident in that so that's 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 my way of um you know winning big so that's what i would say to people too god family and focus makes me a winning woman. My name is NK Madufuro. I'm a gospel music minister. Keep watching Winning Women on ibile.tv. I'm sure you all have learned a lot from our guests today and how amazing it is to be a woman as God has given us this tax as a woman because he knows 
we can handle it. That is why he gave it to us, not the men. Well, that is all we have for you today on the program. You can ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at ibilet.tv and, and follow us on our social media pages at Ibilet TV Lagos. Do ensure you have a blessed and wonderful day. And before we go, our quote for today, I definitely I won't forget that part of the show. Bye for now.